it's that strong that it stands right there perfectly fine. It's a neodymium rare earth magnet. Very strong. These are common now. It's a little pickup tool. You pick stuff up if you drop it. If they're magnetic. This is my favorite kind of stud finder. I don't like any of the stud finders uh, for numerous reasons. Too many to list. And um, if you only know where a stud is, but not where the fasteners are, if you're gonna mount a TV, you meet, make sure you don't try and drive a screw into a screw. And basically, uh, you have to know where the receptacle is, and there's probably a piece of lumber there, and, uh, and there is, and you can go around and look around, and then, and boom, there it is. You mark that, and then you can measure 16, sometimes 24, in this case, 24. Kind of throws you for a loop, but you just gotta, once you know the skeletal, structure you can do what you gotta do and then it's a small little drywall screw which is what it's meant for so very very strong especially if you got several uh all you gotta do is put a little spackle over it and you know a little coat of paint that's and it's a piece of cake nothing no problem they have some ones now that are they use ultrasound or something or well they, they can detect the magnetic field in a wire that's live but there's also they could find pipes and stuff there could be a, a water pipe or something and all kinds of you know different scenarios uh, <laughs> a kitchen uh, so it's good to for that technology uh, it would be nice to have but um, you know for just general purposes uh, I think the best absolute best stud finder money can buy is one of these so there you have it the power strip is mounted nicely on the wall one screw is in the stud the other is just in the drywall and make sure you don't go bump in anything and I'm sure it'll it won't crumble nice and light duty use and uh you got space on the table for all of your knicky knacks it's a beautiful thing if you ever do have to cut into a wall for among the many reasons that you could have to use a hand saw okay use the drywall saw because that has teeth that will catch on a Romex wire and you'll be like oh what the and if you hit a pipe a plumbing pipe or something you'll be like oh and you can feel it it's gonna take longer and it's gonna wear out your elbow don't use a sawzall or any of those little well, the oscillating tools, are the little buzzers, if you got the right uh, touch, because you just don't want to go much more than a half an inch deep, those are pretty good. In this case, you just want to put a, hang a picture frame or whatever you got to do to make things work for you. Utilize your wall space. Put up shelves. You know, put the TV up on the wall. There you go.